This is a video on how to use a web-based application called Animoto. It is a uh, software that we would use to create video that would uh, have uh, pictures and you can also include videos in here. So a video that has some pictures and also has some video uh, and some music in the background and of course a whole bunch of cool graphics. Uh, and you can set up captions and words to make your video um, speak, literally. So first you need an account and there's a free account but it's only it only allows you to create 30 second videos uh, if you want a paid account it's really not expensive um, I believe it's $30 uh, for, the, for a whole year and that allows you to make all the videos you want and I believe video is becoming more and more um, relevant practical useful um, the ability to promote your video your company um, your brand uh, on YouTube uh, it's free and if it's attractive and catchy it can really benefit you in many many ways you can embed this onto your website as well so many practical uses for video now when you get here you have a menu of themes to choose from you can choose one or you can choose not to have a theme if you'd like so uh, feel free to experiment now with a basic account you're able to use almost all of the themes however there are some pros that I cannot access I would have to pay a little extra for a better account um, but for now, I'm just going to pick one of, their, one of the themes that they have and get started. So fireworks sounds cool. So I'm going to try fireworks here. And then I'm going to go to create video. It doesn't really matter um, where you start. You can start with your music. You can start with your pictures. Um, and then you can, you can add text as you go. Um, you can go back and change the style even if you wanted to. So here, they, apparently, they've picked a music for me uh, already, but you would want to choose your own music. And there's all kinds of different themes. You can upload your own. Um, however, I've had situations in the past where I uploaded music that, that I purchased. But the problem with that is if you publish that to YouTube, YouTube will end up recognizing the song and blocking it. So you can create a video with it and, and leave it in Animoto. Uh, but just understand that you don't have you don't own the rights to use that song in order to promote your brand. Uh, so be careful with that. Whereas if you use one of their songs, you can go ahead and pretty much put it anywhere. So here I can go maybe to most popular songs and see what they've got. And it'll allow you to listen to it. And there's even it tells you what kind of music that it is. And you can do a little play to see what it's gonna sound like. Right, so if you like that, you would just go add song, and it tells you that it's three minutes and forty-eight seconds long. So if that, if you feel that's going to be long enough for your presentation, then just go right ahead and pick that. And next is where you add the pics and vids, so pictures and videos. Uh, ideally, you would have them stored on your computer, but you can also bring them in from another web-based app. Right, so these are all available. So you'll you'll have to log into your account, and then you can grab whatever pictures you have using any one of these social media websites or you can just upload them from your computer I happen to have some ready for this particular exercise so I'm gonna go grab those now when you get to the folder where you had your pictures you can then select pictures now I've expanded the window so I can see more pictures it was really small so I just grew it here and then you can use your control key, of course, and just pick and choose the pictures that you'd like. Um, don't pick any that are upside down or sideways because they're going to be upside down or sideways in your presentation. So just scroll through and, again, I'm just using my control key to pick the ones that I want. And then you would hit open. And now it's going to upload your pictures. Now, as it was uploading, I noticed there's some new buttons here. Uh, and one of them is rotate. So I'm going to try and grab another one of those pictures that was 
upside down and see if I can rotate it. So I'm going to go back to add picks here and ask to preview my pictures. This might take a little while. Okay, so there's a picture that I want, but it's sideways. So I'm going to bring that in. And they take a little bit of time to come in because they're high quality, they're big files. So I'll just pause this while it comes in. And it seems to have rotated it automatically, which is great. Uh, just wondering, if I do click on it, can I rotate it? And I can. So there you go. I love that. And then apparently you, could, you should be able to move these and change the order. It's a little sluggish. I wish I could zoom in and zoom out, but I can't, so I just need to be patient here. All right, so I got that at the very top. And it's telling me my slideshow or my movie is going to be 39 seconds long here. So seeing as how it's only going to be 39 seconds long, I can bring in more pictures, of course. Or you can click on this button, and I believe you can change your image pacing so that the movie would last longer. So I'm just sliding this button over towards the slow end. And I'm going to hit save. And now my video is going to last a minute and 14 seconds. So if I went back and maybe went very slow, it might actually last almost as long as the song. I'm going to hit save here. And I'm up to two minutes and 25 seconds. So there you go. You can adjust how long these pictures are going to stay on the screen very easily. Um, so now I have my style, my music, my pictures. And you can now add text. You can add text every single slide if you'd want uh, to, to describe what it is um, that's in your video. And if you're looking at a promotional type of video, you, you would probably want to do that. So let's just explore that. So I'm going to hit add text here. And it's asking for a title and a subtitle. And then I'm going to hit save and see what happens to that. So that actually ended up being an entire slide right here. So I would probably want to move that up. And again, the moving part is a little sluggish. If you want to add a caption to a slide, what you need to do is actually just put your, put your mouse over the slide and then click and then you can add a caption. And then hit done. So I have an, an example here of a caption for a slide. I have one in the slide. I have my pictures. And now there's this preview video button that will obviously show you what your video is going to look like. Now it tells you that it's generating a low resolution preview. So the pictures are likely going to look pixelated or fuzzy. But that's okay. I just want to see what this is going to look like before I actually produce it. of what this is going to look like and then of course you can give your video a title and a description and then when you produce it when you hit produce this is actually going to take some time oh they want a title here so I'll call this catch a slice 
and produce. And it doesn't happen right away. At least it doesn't. It doesn't usually happen right away, but it appears this was really quick. It used to take quite a bit of time before the video got rendered. Now, when you're done, you can then share this video. You can email it to people, uh, or you can go here to more, and then you can embed the video into a website, which is uh, something that we often do, and you'd want it to run right from your website. The other thing you want to know is that if you come here to download slash export, this is how you'd be able to send it to YouTube. Okay, so you can download onto your computer, but you, as you see here, uh, if you want high quality, you're going to need to pay a little bit more money. I have a paid account here, but I don't have the best account. So here they're saying that if you want to download as a real good high quality copy, you'll have to give them a little bit more money. Um, or here, if I want to post it to YouTube, you would do it right from here and then you'd have your promotional or whatever kind of video on YouTube. So those are the basics that you need to know in order to get started with this great web-based software called Animoto.